Hello, dear viewers welcome to another enriching video on our channel. Today, we will explore some powerful psalms from the Bible that lead us on a journey of praise, reflection, and spiritual connection prepare your hearts for Psalms 86, 90, 92, 94, and 97, which bring profound and timeless messages. David fervently begs God for help. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear me, for I am in need and in distress. Guard my soul, for I am holy, O my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Rejoice the soul of your servant, for to you, Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good, and ready to forgive, and abundant in loving kindness to all who call on you. Give ear, Lord, to my prayer and answer the voice of my supplications. In the day of my distress I cry out to you, because you answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, Lord, nor are there works like yours. All the nations that you have made will come and bow down before you, Lord, and will glorify your name. Because you are great and do wonders, only you are God. Teach me, Lord, your way, and I will walk in your truth, unite my heart to the fear of your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your mercy toward me, and you delivered my soul from the deepest hell. O God, the proud have risen up against me, and the assemblies of tyrants have sought my soul, and have not set you before their eyes. But you, Lord, are a God full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and abounding in loving-kindness and truth. Turn to me, and have mercy on me, give your strength to your servant, and save the son of your servant. Show me a sign for good, so that those who hate me may see it and be confused, because you, Lord, helped me and comforted me. Man's Weakness and God's Providence Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. Before the mountains were born, or you formed the earth and the world, even from eternity to eternity, you are God. You reduce man to destruction, and you say, Return, children of men. For a thousand years are in your sight like yesterday, and like a watch in the night. You carry them away like a stream of water, they are like a sleep, in the morning they are like grass that grows. At dawn it blooms and grows, in the afternoon it is cut and dried. For we are consumed by your wrath, and by your wrath we are distressed. You have set before you our iniquities, our hidden sins, in the light of your face. For all our days pass in your indignation, we spend our years like a tale told. The days of our life reach seventy years, and if some, due to their robustness, reach eighty years, their pride is tiring and boring, because it soon ends and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger as you are tremendous, so is your fury. Teach us to number our days, so that we gain hearts of wisdom. Turn to us, Lord, until when be appeased to your servants. Satisfy us early in the morning with your loving kindness, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Rejoice in the days in which you afflicted us, and in the years in which we saw evil. Let your work appear to your servants, and your glory to their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish upon us the work of our hands, yes, confirm. The psalmist urges us to praise God. It is good to praise the Lord, and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To proclaim your kindness in the morning, and your faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with solemn sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad by your deeds, I will exult in the works of your hands. How great, Lord, are your works! How deep are your thoughts! The brutal man does not know, nor does the madman understand this. When the wicked grow like grass, and all the workers of iniquity flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are the Most High forever. For behold, your enemies, Lord, behold, your enemies will perish, all those who practice iniquity will be scattered. But you will exalt my power like that of a wild ox. I will be anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will see my desire for my enemies, and my ears will hear my desire for the evildoers who rise up against me. 
The righteous will flourish like a palm tree, will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord will flourish in the courts of our God. In old age they will still bear fruit, they will be fresh and vigorous. To announce that the Lord is righteous. He is my rock and in him there is no injustice. Appeal to God's justice against evildoers. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, show yourself resplendent. Exalt yourself, you who are judge of the earth, gives pay to the proud. How long will the wicked, Lord, how long will the wicked leap with pleasure? How long will they utter and speak harsh things, and all the workers of iniquity will boast? They tear your people to pieces, O Lord, and afflict your inheritance. They kill the widow and the stranger, and the orphan they take the life of. Yet they say, The Lord will not see him, nor will the God of Jacob listen to this. Heed, you brutal ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? He who formed the ear will not hear, and he who formed the eye will not see. He who argues against the Gentiles will not punish, and he who teaches a man knowledge will not know. The Lord knows the thoughts of man, which are vanity. Blessed is the man whom you punish, O Lord, and whom you teach your law. To give him rest from evil days, until the pit is opened for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people, nor forsake his inheritance. But judgment will return to righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow him. Who will stand for me against evildoers who will stand for me against those who do iniquity? If the Lord had not come to my aid, my soul would almost have remained silent. When I said, My foot falters, your kindness, Lord, sustained me. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, your consolations recreated my soul. Perhaps the throne of iniquity accompanies you, which forges evil by a law. They gather together against the soul of the righteous, and condemn innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. And he will bring upon them their own iniquity, and will destroy them in their own malice, the Lord our God will destroy them. The Majesty of the Kingdom of God The Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice, may the many islands rejoice. Clouds and darkness are all around him, justice and judgment are the basis of his throne. A fire goes before him, and scorches his enemies around him. His lightning illuminates the world, the earth saw and shook. The mountains melt like wax in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord of all the earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all peoples see his glory. Confounded be all who serve graven images, who boast of idols, prostrate yourselves before him, all you gods. Zion heard and rejoiced, and the children of Judah rejoiced because of your righteousness, O Lord. For you, Lord, are the highest over all the earth, you are much more exalted than all the gods. You who love the Lord, hate evil he keeps the souls of his saints, he delivers them from the hands of the wicked. Light is sown to the righteous, and joy to the upright in heart. Rejoice, O righteous ones, in the Lord, and give praise to the memory of his holiness. As we wrap up our exploration of these inspiring psalms, I invite each of you to reflect on the profound messages they offer. May these sacred words illuminate our paths and strengthen our faith. Let's conclude this video with a prayer, seeking the Lord's blessing on each of us and our spiritual journey. Thank you all for joining us on this journey of discovery and reflection. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave your comments, share, and subscribe to the channel for more inspiring videos like this. Until next time.